Hello and welcome to Live Auctioneers. This video will show you how to format your catalogue text for Live Auctioneers. We recommend using Microsoft Excel to create your spreadsheet. Input the data into the spreadsheet either by exporting the information from your auction software or by pasting it from another source. We require six mandatory column headers. Lot number. This header must read capital L O T capital N U M and can consist of up to 10 characters. The lot number may also have an alphabetic character to distinguish from identical numbers. For example, 7 and 7A is permitted, but there must not be a space between the number and the letter. Title. The title column. This header must read capital T I T L E. This column is for the leading title of your item and is used to display the lot on live auctioneers. So add the most searchable words to your title. The title must not exceed 49 characters, including spaces. The description column. This header must read capital D E S C R I P T I O N. There is no word limit here, so try to describe your item as accurately as possible. The words you use in the description column help shoppers discover your items when they search on live auctioneers. You may use simple HTML tags. Special characters such as Chinese characters must be converted into Unicode. And links to your website are not permitted and must be removed. Low estimate. This header must read capital L O W capital E S T. List the low estimate of the item, which cannot be greater than your high estimate or lower than your start price. High estimate. This header must read capital H I G H capital E S T. List the high estimate of the item, which cannot be equal to or less than your low estimate. Start price. This header must read capital S T A R T capital P R I C E. The start price will serve as a starting point for your bidders to leave absentee bids. The start price cannot be greater than your low estimate. If this field is left empty, the start price will be automatically set at 50% of your low estimate. Do not include currency symbols in any of these three columns. And last but not least, try saving your Excel as a .csv or text file. This will help preserve any special characters such as the umlaut or circumflex letters. And now your spreadsheet is ready to be uploaded.